Go. Sometimes on your white pines and even on your Norway spruce, you'll get a pine tip borer, which you can see right here. See how that top's starting to wilt back down? Uh, what I always do to get rid of these is you cut it off as far down as you can so you know that all the, all the borers are gone. And you want to take that and burn it or put it in a plastic bag and put it out in the trash so these insects can't hatch out and spread to your other trees. And what you need to do, can't you cut that out? If you see, it looks like you have like many leaders here. Just work your way around, just like before. Try to leave one leader sticking up from everything else down. And what you end up doing is just getting a real fat, bushy plant out of this. On well, these, I really like to work my tops first. And just work your way around, shape up your tree a little bit. And this does not hurt the tree. That's correct. This is just a, a way to take care of a little bit of insect damage and to keep your plants looking nice and healthy. And it'll just make up for a little bit fatter tree than something that maybe didn't get its top, but you will not lose your pine tree because of it. So it's one way to just clean up from any insect damage you might have with a, the pine shoot tip moss. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. And these are hens and chicks. And you can take these little hens and chicks and you can just break them out of these things here, or carefully dig them out, and just reach, reach in and just stuff them into the wall a little bit. And they'll cascade out of the wall and they'll actually have a flower on them in the, in the summer. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 and this is an old stone wall that's part of our barn and uh, barn area. And you can see we have an old barn. This is a barn was made in 1819. And on this, on this rock wall, we have a bunch of plants that are called sedums. And sedums can, can cascade over a wall and re-root inside the wall of, the, of a dry laid stone wall. An interesting plant for a wall because instead of just having a stone wall, you can have greenery on the wall as well. It almost looks like it's water cascading off of the wall. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountain. This is just a little walking tour of some of the trees and shrubs that we have in our yard that you can come and look at. 651 hundreds of acres PA. here we in Fountainville, of PA, PA, and also in Milan, PA. We have these are 12 about 2,000 acres of grow our trees and shrubs and on. See and we grow nice a and wide full. range of, of plants just for you. So just give us a call, so so 215-651-8329. We do deliveries all up and down the East Coast. Thank you. We have a lot of plants for unusual these are three to four foot green giants in a number three pot at Highland Hill Farm. These are five to six and four to fives green giant arborvitae. We've got plenty of them here. Just give us a call 215-651-8329. These are our 36 inch emerald greens, real nice full plants in a number five pot. These are on sale in fall of 2009. These are Thusia Placata Zabrina on sale, fall 2009. Nice little plant, nice little plant for on a rock, rock wall. So uh, if you need any help in doing your plantings, give us a call at 2 We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313. I'm Bill Hurst, and this is Mike Lewis of Lewis Wholesale Nursery. He's also on Route 313, and he's going to give our guys a demonstration on how to trim a blue spruce. How you doing, folks? Uh, today we're going to do a little uh, blue spruce pruning. Now, if you watched a white pine video, you'll notice on the white pine, it, usually the pines are a lot fuller. That's just how they grow. On a, on a blue spruce, a Norway spruce, you're not going to have as much uh, tips to cut off. So what you want to do, particularly on a tree like this, is just carefully tip it back. If you see on, on the whorls of this year's growth against my body, there's four or five, if you want to call them fingers, 
what you want to do is really just tip back the longest one and work your way around the tree just trying to keep everything even and it's the same with the pine trees if you tip them back now if you shear them back you're going to get a lot more bud set than if you just left them go more buds mean more bushiness okay this is june 11th and the reason we're doing it now is the new growth is not fully set and when we trim it back a little bit, a new bud growth will occur. That's correct. And we'll get a lot more bud growth. Same way on your tops, you want to make sure that when you cut these lateral branches, that you at least see where one or two buds are formed. After we make the cut, they're probably going to form more buds, but just to be sure, you just look for a little brown spot in there. That's usually where a bud's at. And you cut that back. Here we're going to take off about half. Otherwise, we're going to end up with too much space between our branching. And the same thing in the pine trees. We're going to get a lot more bud formation on the top, and these buds here are going to develop more fully, and we're going to end up with a nice, bushier plant. There you go. That's all it takes. Okay. Michael, on this tree, we have some, some uh, Cooley spruce gall aphid. Yes. Do you want to explain about that? Okay. That's an insect that's hatched. The legs are laid in the, laid in the fall. They winter over on the plant. And you'll get this little tuft of fuzzy growth. Uh, it almost looks like by the time it matures is a pine cone. You just need to spray that in the fall with malathion, orthene. Uh, if you're not sure what area you're in, just contact your local extension service. Um, look for pine or spruce gall. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't actually harm the tree that much, no. but it just makes it look a little unsightly. And a lot of people just mistake them for cones, right? Like a pine cone or a spruce cone on there. Okay, well, thank you very much, Mike. And now the guys can get to work, and we only have a couple thousand trees to trim this afternoon. Right, so, so it won't take them long. won't take them long. Thank you. Bye-bye.